check. One, two, one, two. Chicken nuggets and fries. Chicken nuggets and fries. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the lunch table, and we are starting a new series called Who Is? And today we got Who Is Kyle on the mic. What's up, brother? What's up, man? How are you, bro? You know, that whole thing on the stage got all that attention. Yeah, graduation. Graduation, that was huge. <laughs> so, was it people behind you? Like, you know, you was, you was there for like a good 35, 40 seconds, though. Like, I. What was that? Well, what happened was, so, you know, the scandal and everything at Florida was somehow people can't stroll across the stage. But I was like, me, it's my graduation. I'm going to go ahead and leave my mark. I work hard for this four years right now. Yeah, thank God. Um, so, I posted it. It got a lot of attention, but with a lot of love because a lot of hate. Mm -hmm. So, I want to. I just want to make sure that everybody knows that I was the last person. Okay. I so, mean, you weren't holding up the whole line. Yeah. You know, I, I was the last person to uh, mm -hmm. go on the stage. So, I said, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show out. Yeah. So, I was on the stage. I Like I said, I'm in front of people. I just get that energy. I felt like I was on stage hosting or uh, getting my award. So, I was hopping, marching, did my splits. People were like, his pants don't rip. No. Kyle's pants don't rip. Like they say, your pants are made of vibranium. I just said, word that day. But <laughs> you're not like the stereotypical cute that you know you see on the IG and all that stuff. Like, how do, how do you feel about that? Like, what's... um, it doesn't bother me at all. Okay. Um, a lot of people are do come to me like, you're a cute. Oh, he doesn't look like a cute. He doesn't act like a cute. But I mean, what's a cute is supposed to act like? I guess you know, if, I guess if you wear that, wear the letters and stuff like that, they expect you to act a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I get the stereotype and what they want me to be like. Right. It's usually like the macho. The football player, the strong guy, right, but I wasn't. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But um, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I like being different. Mm -hmm. um, that's one reason why I joined. Of course, I love the brotherhood. I love the, what they stand for and everything like that. Um, also, I'm a legacy, so that had an influence on me. Yeah, that is a cute, right? Yes. Okay. So, but also, really, the feeling that stereotype, mm -hmm. you know. So that's one thing that really pushed me through. I wanted to become a cute as well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I enjoy it, and one thing I realized about this fraternity that a lot of people don't get to see because they're not in it, mm -hmm. but the one beautiful thing about it was I actually got to find people who were just like me in the fraternity wow. that, you know, weren't these stereotypical type of cues so we all could relate to. You think of like, you know, biting ass in the parties, uh -huh. you think about, you know, that big dude that's like, move, and then he starts strolling. That's like, sports. Yeah, that's sports. Yeah, that's sports. I got a guy that like gets all the girls and all that stuff, so like, uh -huh. I know, like, you know, you say you, you never actually had an actual girlfriend, uh -huh. which is, like, crazy. Like, he's, like, cute, you know, he's just that 30 years a girlfriend. So, like, what, what do you think people are saying that you don't have a girlfriend, you know, they're putting that along with all the other stuff? Like, how does that look, you know, it's like you never having a girlfriend and you getting all these likes on Instagram, you getting hard eyes. I was like, how does this guy not, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, it, yeah. Running him up, being a whore, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just, that's just not me. Um, mm -hmm. That's just... Not me, uh, not having a girlfriend thing. It's just like honestly, just in life. I, growing up, I was not really like my brother was the one who was really like the attraction. I right, was yeah, attractive yeah. type, so I was like, okay, was I gotta find. I, yeah, I was like, I was a big fat kid walking around <laughs> like this guy. Who was this? But so I was like, okay, let me find someone else to you know bring some attention towards me. And it was literally just me being myself and my talent. So I really wasn't always focused on girls and relationships. I uh, I was really focused on really my grind and my talent, which you know has really got me to where I am today. But I just really been focused on the grind. And with me not having a girlfriend, being a cute, I know some people are like, wait, is he gay? Yeah. Is Kyle gay? And that's that's something that people always have said about me in my life. How did it make you feel though? Like, um, at first, you know, I was like, dang, like, why do people think this, am I gay? I was, but I know I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. So I mean, at the end of the day, I think, at first it really used to bother me, but now it's like, I'm just, I'm being myself. People always gonna have something to say about you, no matter always, what. Always, no matter what. So always. I mean, it, I mean, it is what it is. No, I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. I do have my fun, but it's not for everybody. I do have my fun. It's, 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 I mean, yeah, I mean, even though you don't see it, or you know, right. you don't hear it. Well, Kyle on the mic, you do host, you know, all that stuff. Like, how does that feel when you host? Like, what's What's something that drives you when you do that? You know, I'm really honestly a chill person. Mm -hmm. And you know, I am wild and crazy. Yeah. I'm a chill person, but when I get on the stage and host, it's like a whole nother like energy comes yeah. to me. Like I love being in front of the crowd hosting. Like, my dream is to be like in front of a stage like DC! Like Ryan right Center, like <laughs> LA! Like yell that out, the whole crowd is goes crazy. Yeah. But like I love hosting, like just from performing 
from interacting with the crowd, the music, the heightness, the lights, the energy. I just love it. Your voice yeah. increased when you were talking about it. So I know. I know. I, I, you get, and so, know, like, something that's high, yeah, that's real. I just thought it was crazy. So maybe I am crazy, but I'm chill as well. But I love hosting. I love I love entertaining. Like I said, I don't just host, I entertain. When you when you have a cow on the mic on the stage, you're not gonna just get your typical host. You're gonna have a show, you're gonna feel like we got a family, we're gonna get laughs, we're gonna joke and just have a blast. So, Kyle on the mic, Baby J, check it out. Right.